In principle, there are two main types of rear door cooling methods, passive and active. First, we will look at how a passive rear door cooler works. Ambient air is pulled into the rack by the active equipment fans. The resulting hot exhaust air is then expelled over a heat exchanger, transferring the heat and rejecting it to coolant as it does so. The resulting chilled air then passes back into the room. Similarly, with a proactive rear door cooler, ambient air is pulled into the rack via the active equipment fans. However, the resulting hot exhaust air is assisted by EC fans mounted within the proactive door and is expelled over a heat exchanger, transferring the heat and rejecting it to coolant as it does so. The resulting chilled air then passes back into the room at, or just below, the predetermined room ambient temperature. In this way, the proactive rear door cooler can control the whole room environment. So, what are the benefits of each solution? Both variants work on a condensate-free operation, using sensible cooling only. In other words, operating above dew point, thus preventing condensation from forming whilst ensuring a more efficient operation of the external mechanical cooling. Both types are easy to install and can be retrofitted to any OEM rack. As previously detailed, passive rear door coolers rely on the active equipment fans to, in effect, Self-cool in if the active equipment fans can produce the necessary static air pressure and that there remains a clear air path between the equipment fans and heat exchanger, then the solution is simple and effective. Given there are no moving parts, maintenance is minimal. The lack of fans also means they are silent running. However, whilst it is true to say that they have zero running costs, their simplicity also means that there are two downsides. Firstly, if the ID equipment fans do not produce enough static pressure, then heat will build up in the rack with obvious consequences. And secondly, passive rear door coolers have no ability to control the overall room temperature individually or collectively, which means in order to maintain a constant room temperature additional supplementary cooling product will be needed. This can run the risk of hotspots at an individual rack level, whilst increasing both the operational and capital cost, unless paired with proactive rear door coolers. Whereas proactive rear door coolers control the whole room environment from an independent rack perspective, so no supplementary cooling products or monitoring and control solutions are required. Furthermore, proactive rear door coolers are more resilient. They will adapt to other heat production in the data center, effectively cooling any gains not internal to the rack. Similarly, proactive rear door coolers cool adjacent racks which are without a rear door cooler. This is done by using adaptive intelligence built into each rear door cooler. If as standard. 